There we go. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome everybody. Today is the first inaugural podcast with Amin Yusof and Afik. And <laughs> Yusof is just Afik. Yes. <laughs> Amin, say a few words. Say hello, hello to everybody listening to us today. Okay, Assalamualaikum semua. Eh, malay lah eh. Konnichiwa. Konbawa. Arikato gozaimasu. Hai, ikimasu yo. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Makan. So today folks, kita, we, we're going to be very relaxed, very santai, very casual about this. But one of the biggest topics that we always hear very recently is about AI. AI, artificial intelligence. For those of you who tak tahu, AI tu apa? I mean, AI tu apa? AI, yeah. AI tu apa? AI tu roti canai? Tak lah. AI, AI tu macam sekarang kan robot-robot kan. Dulu pasal kalau siapa yang pernah tengok Terminator? Skynet, Skynet. Ah, ha, Kan Skynet is going to take over the world. Ah, ha, Something similar tapi tak take over the world lah. Belum kiamat lagi. Ah, ha, But it's computer. So computer yang can help you answer questions, can help you code, can help you come up with images, can help you write. So, siapa-siapa, budak-budak sekolah tu semua, yang universiti ke poli ni semua, atas pun secondary school ni semua, yang tengok ni, jangan tengok. Uh, nanti tangkap nanti. <laughs> okay. So, AI ni benda yang robot yang yang tolong kita. Buat apa-apa benda. What you need them to do, diorang boleh buatkan. Uh, diorang nak, you want them to come up with ideas. They can come up with ideas. Uh, they want, you want them to come up with a plan, they can come up with a plan. So, it's like talking to actual human being yang ada vast knowledge. Hmm, more than human beings, yeah, more than human beings. They know a lot. Right? And so to summarize, really, computers are taking over the world, right? They're taking hmm. over the world, taking over our tasks, taking over our job. You ask a question, make a request, they can do it for you. Oh, like exactly. They do it better, faster than a typical person, hmm. right? And, and like what Amin says, today, almost anything can be generated, created via AI, right? Hmm. Anything from pieces of content, tulisan, you know, uh, creative things like art, you know, they can even automate uh, basically your whole life, you know, and so so today, today, both of us are from two different backgrounds, right, yep. Amin is in the god of marketing, right, <laughs> they were marketing, alhamdulillah, okay, and I am in Islamic finance, you know, I am in personal Islamic finance, I teach people how to manage their money the Muslim way, inshallah, and so today, AI is a very real thing. I didn't mm. use the word threat, right? It is simply another tool. Can how we use that tool and how it impacts us. Of course, people will tell us that we can cover the negative aspect to it first. Oh, AI means kita dah tak ada kerja. Everything is a robot now. Dah tak payah humans anymore. If you really think about it, robots are everywhere. You go McDonald's, the point of sale system is tap, 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 dah dapat. And the person who deliver is a person. But... There are some places where they use a robot to deliver, kan? Those who yes, yes. Kat Malaysia banyak sekarang. The one to, I go to the mall, like at Topan tu semua, kan? Uh-huh. Uh, they deliver using the the machine. Tapi ada telangga jugalah. So, that's still optimization needed. Tapi dah, yeah. dah start dah. Yeah. It's out there yeah. in the world. Yeah. So, robots are real and robots will be powered by AI. I wouldn't be surprised if one day we walk into McDonald's, for example, right? We They will already suggest these are your usual things that you order or these are the promotions now. What do you want? They don't even have to uh, they don't you don't even have to key in anything. They suggest you select and they automatically charge you based on your facial profile. Oh, this person is this person can. Right? Uh, right. Possible, possible. Walk in, sit down, automatically the food comes. And so for for folks like, like in marketing, how does AI threaten you? Uh, I think recently, you know, that time you know you invited me to ask me the other day. Uh, the big one. So I had to, I, I get to meet a lot of other marketers, Chafi Daos, Terenu and Terti, those who make Imran, kan? Then they also, they also ask me the same thing. Hey bro, how is SEO going to, how is uh, AI going to affect our marketing? Eh? Yeah, siapa yang buat branding? Eh, hey, adanya mid journey. Uh, they can come up with you concepts. Hmm. Right? SEO. Eh, hey, bro, they can write for you dah. Uh, with the keywords and everything. Uh, then you see, it's a concern. In, in the industry level, that is a concern dah. Kan? But my, my, my take is always this. It's a relatively new um, system that is out there. Kan? So we, we have no idea how it's going to be mitigated one. How far the reach of it. But at this point in time, we can either be a person that is a glass half full or a glass half empty. And we see this as opportunity or we see this as something that is going to be jeopardizing our career. Yeah. 
to be honest, it can go both ways. Like right now, if you were to 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 worry about it now, there's nothing much you can do, right? Like like I asked, I I, I met another lawyer, who does a uh, corporate, hmm. uh, for for those uh, M and A and stuff. Yes, you can do. You can go to. I think there's one AI like do not pay dot or IO or something, right? Where you can write service agreements there, right? But he tell me when it comes to really in the millions, in eight figures, nine figures, you don't have a human accountability. Who's gonna be accountable? You want to blame the robot for a mistake that happened here? Yeah. <laughs> See. Right. Yeah. So everything cannot be done through robot. Not not to the extent yet. You still need that human element to foresee, yeah. to check. To be accountable. Yeah. You can use AI to facilitate your work, to make you more efficient, to make sure that you do less errors. But right. does it necessarily take over your work? My take is no. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And if you talk about a human element, uh, ultimately, being in financial advisory, my role mm-hmm. is really just to help a lot of people. And sometimes, nowadays, you can invest online, DIY. You can even buy insurance online, DIY. There are people who can write Islamic wills online, DIY. You know, without even meeting a specific person. And the scariest part when people do all this is they are alone. They are Mm -hmm. doing it by themselves. And sometimes you just need a warm person, a warm body to talk to. Am I doing the right thing? You know, to empathize, to sympathize, to to really just connect and understand. And, and, And that's what I've been realizing over the past 11 years of doing this. You know, sometimes people just need reassurance from a living person that says, hey, you're doing the right thing. You know, whatever uh planning you've already done is correct. Or if you need help, here you go. I validate whatever the robot has right. done for you. You know, robots say like that, like that, like that, like that. You can't really trust the robot. You don't know if it's right. Have a person qualified, you know, experienced come in, talk to you and say, hey, yeah, all these things are actually correct. You are on the right path and we're all going to be A-OK. So absolutely, like, is there a threat to, to my industry when it comes to this? I would say yes. People who have no idea what they're doing, who are pushing products, who are just trying to get a quick sale, they are going to get pushed out by AI. Easily, yes, yeah, exactly. Easily, when there's no value add, and the value we add, I find as as financial advisors is number one that human connection. You know, people mm-hmm. want one that reassurance. You know, they want leadership, and I I highly say to all our practitioners in the industry, we we are not salespeople, we are leaders, and so we have to be very careful with what we say, with what we do. You know how we practice our practice. You know, our, our business, how we do it. And people look up to us. You know, especially you as well as marketing. Marketing God, people say, oh, you tell me to do this, 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 this for, for marketing. I will follow. I don't doubt because you're an expert in your own field, right? You're a leader in your field. And for us, we are all leaders, especially entrepreneurs, self-employed business owners. We're all leaders. And AI can never be a leader. AI is simply a tool. And so we as leaders have to understand that AI being a tool, we have to use it properly, use it carefully. Don't just over-rely on it. Right? Yes. We upskill, upgrade, gun, gun, gun. Yes, yes, exactly. And do what we can. So yeah, yeah what, what do you think, I mean, about all this? I think you you you, you hit it right, right, right on the nail. Basically, right? Yeah. How you actually use it to your own advantage. That's actually the key. How you want to choose to use it. Like if you give a genius a tool, he's going to make it even more. But if you're not a genius, is this going to make you a genius? Answer is no. Right? Uh, it stems from yourself. How you choose to see this, how you see fit in what you do. Right? So, like, like any other business, it's about understanding problems, it's about understanding the gaps, right? And fulfilling the gaps. What can we do to help it? These are just tools, like you said, to help to help us get there. There's the modus of operandi to get there. That's it. Right? Yeah. But is it something that necessarily do it 100%? No, not necessarily. Because they don't have, like you said, emotion. They don't have empathy, mm. right? To understand takes to a human level. Like, I know where you're coming from. Imagine a robot telling you, I know where you're coming from. It's not going to hit the same, <laughs> right? It's not, it's not going to hit the same in yeah. marketing, in anything. So in, uh, I came across recently, right? Uh, there's a, 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 a partner of mine in KL who want to pass me work. Like he said, like, they were pitched by this company, say, like, their SEO is SEO, uh, done by, uh, by AI. I'm saying, if AI, if SEO is done by AI, then how do you understand human experience? 
Yeah. Right? Because to be honest, a lot of people know SEO as, as oh, oh, we get traffic to organic traffic to your website. Yeah. Getting a million traffic to a website that converts a 0% still means nothing. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. No, ultimately, like, you know, our earlier conversation about when we look, for example, like search terms, right? Mm. AI can take these data points. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of searches for this particular term. Therefore, we should do more content based on that particular search mm. term. Right? But what I feel AI misses the point is the why behind the search term. Yes, right. why behind it? Yeah, fine. People are searching, for example, for halal investing, something that I'm very passionate about. And I teach people halal investing, but the AI misses the point about why people are searching about halal investing. Because is it because there's suddenly more awareness? There's mm -hmm. more uh, concern about halal investing, especially mm -hmm. for Muslims here in, in the region, in Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, right? Mm -hmm. Are there more and more people thinking about it from a religious perspective? Because it misses the big why. Exactly. AI won't be able to understand why they're doing it. They're just telling you, oh, okay, in the past five years, there's been an uptrend of people searching for halal investing. But when you mm -hmm. people ask why, the AI can't contextualize it. A human needs to come in and say, yeah, Dulu, 10, 15, yeah. 20 years ago, nobody talked about halal investing. But today, there's a lot more awareness and people are suddenly takut, kan neraka panas. <laughs> hot, 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 uh, hot pot. <laughs> But yeah, it's, it's true, right? As, as a practitioner over the past decade, I see more and more uptake, more and more interest in halal investing. And the mm. big why behind it couldn't be answered by AI. It was really, suddenly, people knew, ada halal investing eh? Ada eh, halal investment. Mm. Oh, Is then it, oh, I must get my house in order. I must get my finances in order to be aligned with my faith and my beliefs. Mm. Right? AI is just a tool to tell me, yeah, there's suddenly an uptrend. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So I think people essentially don't have to be afraid, right? At this moment in time, that that their work will be taken away, no, right? Because to be honest, what you do with the tool is at is it's actually right now. If you are a glass half or full kind of person, it's endless the possibilities that you can do it. You want to become a writer right now? Company have money but no time. Yeah. Offer your service to them. Yeah. You have you, you can get you can help you write. You can you can have your own element inside there. Right? Uh you maybe we give out the, the, the AI software, you can write, let's say, only um uh once uh one topic or one article every two days. Now you can write almost one day, two topics, three topics, right? With the, the help of AI. Right? So it is 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 your outlook on how you actually choose to see this. Right? If you choose to see this to be something that is detrimental to your business, something that is gonna take away from your business itself, and then it is, it is. If you're gonna get stuck there and not move forward with time, with technology. Then the, the 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 ball is on your court. Yeah, it's a yeah. it's a very fatalistic view at the end of the day. It's like, uh, and here's the thing: it has been repeated throughout history. Imagine mm. this: way back when zaman bila lah, eh, people were hunter gatherers. Then the first farmer started, and then the hunter gatherers are saying, "Ah, see, the farmers are gonna take away our jobs. You know, we can't be hunting anymore." And then they become farmers, right? Then the farmers started doing it, and then they had the industrial revolution. From uh, mm, right. became factories. Then the farmers was to the say to the factory, "Oh, they're taking away our jobs. Oh, you know, the end of the world." And then you have the factory workers who move into the information age, right? Yes. Information yes. age. Oh, see yes. the internet. The internet is gonna be uh, the doom of us. Bubble. Uh, the dot com bubble. The dot com bubble. Yeah, uh, dot com bubble. Oh, doom. Then from from uh, information age, we're now in the age of AI. Right, age of AI. Say, oh, you know, look, look, look. Uh, the the all the regular tech people are gonna say yeah. doom, end of the world. So. My point in saying this is ultimately you either adapt or die. Yes. Right? And us as entrepreneurs, people out there, if you're in a job or if you're self-employed, it doesn't matter. It still applies the same way. Adapt, mm -hmm. evolve, or die. And so having that mindset of, oh, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, guess what? You're right. Whether or not you say you can make it or whether or not you say you cannot make it, either way, you're right. Yes. Right. We're going to have to adapt. And so if you're an employee today and you're worried that your job is going to be taken over by a robot, if you think you're going to be taken over, you're right. Exactly. If you, think that you won't be taken over, you're right. Exactly. How do you get that? Right? So, so I, would say, I would suggest for everybody out there, you know, have a mindset, have a, th have a thought. How can I make myself indispensable to my current role? Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Can I upgrade? Can I skill up? Can I learn something new? Can I add on to the value that I'm already providing? Right? As an employee, for example, employee, what kind of value do I provide to my employer? Right? Yeah, exactly. I one day come to him and say, hey, you know, boss, what, what are the extra skills you need from me? 
that mm. currently outsourced to other my current skills that can be outsourced? Can I do more? Can I do better? Exactly. And exactly. Business owners is the same thing, right? How can I add more value to my customers? Yes, exactly, exactly. Then I think for people out there, right? When I say the 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 word endless, endless possibilities, it's actually true. Think about it. Right now, if you want to have a part time job, you want to have a side income, right? You have no reason not to start. If you have an idea, I want to start my own business, right? I will start selling this. I have no idea what content to write. Go and go on Chat GPT and just write it. Give you some ideas itself. What to write? Is an excuse. So regardless of technology, regardless of time, right? They are doers, and they are just thinkers. Uh, people who actually think and do and someone who just think, 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 think. It's, it's going to happen for every industry itself, right? Yeah. For every uh, for every, uh, every point in time in, 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 in human human history, right? There are people who are going to be the detractors. Oh, this is going to work. It's going to end. No. There's some people who make money from it. So like I said, for now, AI. AI is going to make money for a lot of people. A lot of people. So are you one of them? The thing is, there's no straight answer of, oh, how do I make money with AI? You think about it, right? In your own work right now, if you're supposed to write things and you have no idea how to do it, there's no such thing as, oh, I don't know. I just go there and just wait. Yeah. You can find these sources right now. Search engine is integrating with AI itself to know and to understand human behavior, your personal behavior. As a marketer, right? It's going to change. I can see AI is going to change the way marketing works. It's going to be uh, uh, personalized to the individual person even more to that individual yeah. right now you may think as individual but right now they will study trends past future before right upcoming they can predict to see which demographic will work more towards your product or your service see it's going to change i see it as something which is welcoming something new right so it's, it's a matter of first mover advantage whoever is there first of course yeah of course, of course. And and that's the thing. I, I hope that uh whoever's watching this, you know, our viewers, our, our community out there, that we've sparked at least that thought in you that, you know, how can we take advantage of whatever uh, is currently happening in the world for us to be able to make a difference, not just in our lives, but to the people around us, right? Because we all are in this on this earth for a reason. I always say that we're all on this for a reason. We have our purpose in life. You know, whether it's to raise a family, whether to it's to do good, whether it's even in a job, that's our purpose, you know, to add value via our job, mm-hmm. adding value to the world with our business. The, the uh, end point or the point I'm trying to make at the end of the day is we're adding value. Yeah. That's the purpose of us being on this earth. You know, saying that, oh, you know, give up, uh, robots can take over the world. No, that's not the point. Right. <laughs> giving up is easy giving up is easy this is how we continue working how we continue you know yeah. getting better at what we do and adding more value and so from from two ends right where you work with businesses i work with people ultimately i see a very nice synergy i see how you know you help businesses benefit people i help people benefit themselves you know yeah. and along the way in short law we all make some money so that we can yeah. do more good with with uh, our our purpose can yeah, no. so yeah. we don't have to to worry. Uh, well, okay, like, You do have to worry, like, AI will be there to steal your job. Okay, and remember, <laughs> I say if you think it's gonna steal your job, you're right. Okay, <laughs> it is right. So you do have to worry a little bit. Um, and having being worried is good because yeah. once you're worried, it means you see that it's a problem. Or it's yes. a problem, then it means you can solve it. Once you can solve, and if you don't know how to solve it, talk to Shifu. Shifu, I mean. For for marketing, you know, and, and if you're worried about your personal finances, you know, talk to me and my team, inshallah. Yes, mm. yes. So we our our podcast will be inshallah going on uh, quite regularly, right? I yeah. mean, um, let us know your thoughts in the comments. You know, send us messages. Let us know what what you think. <laughs> uh, how AI is gonna affect all of us. Uh, how AI is gonna affect you personally. Uh, yeah, just, tell us yeah. what you learned, you know, say hi, you know, share share the love, share this to your friends and family. Yes, exactly. Uh, and if you have any topics, if yes. any topics that you want to cover, put inside the put inside the comment so we can read. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Ideas for topics. What 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 is something burning at the back of your mind that you really want to learn about? Yeah. It doesn't have to be marketing involved, it doesn't have to be finance yeah. involved. I mean, and I we're more than happy to talk about it. I mean, for, for those of you who are out there about to get married, with AI replace your spouse, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> No. 
can you use AI to keep your spouse happy? Uh, ask ah. happy. Uh, how do I keep my, my, my wife happy? Yeah. So uh, you study the trend. Look at the AI to study your, let's say, your wife or your husband. Right to know that cycle, what makes him tick, what makes him down. At least you know what to avoid and what to do more of. <laughs> you see uh, this... another business idea. See another business idea. Can AI <laughs> automate my wife? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> Not automate your life, but automate my wife. And so the uh, I've had a lot of fun together with. I mean, we we know each other for a while now. We're very good friends. So <laughs> very casual, as you all can see. Let us know what are the things that you want to learn. Like, comment, subscribe, folks, if you can share this. Uh, mm. and, and let us know what, what else we can talk about. So this is Shifu Amin from CMO Media Labs. Uh, this is Afik from Modern Muslim Finance. We'll see you at our next podcast, inshallah, coming soon. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye, guys. <laughs>